Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today, I would like to show you how to use selection tools in Infinite Painter. Selection tools are located in the upper right corner of your screen. Click here. From the tool menu, select Edit tab to get the selection tools. Here you have Lasso Tool, Rectangle, Magic Wand, Brush Selection, Polyline, Path Tool, Circle, and Color Selection. Now, let's see how these tools work. Lasso Tool can be used to do freehand selections. Just move the pencil around the desired object in a freehand sketch. Circle Tool can be used to select an area in circular form. You can adjust the size of the selection while the tool is active. And Rectangle Tool works similar to the Circle Tool. Just use to make rectangular selection. Polyline Tool makes a polygon selection the help of vertices. You can make any angular shape with this tool. Next we have Path Tool which works like Polyline Tool. It makes shapes with vertices. But it can also make curved lines and can follow any shape if you are using it to trace. Each vertex can be changed to spline point to make curved line. Wand Tool is similar to the Magic Wand in Photoshop. It is used to make AI selection. It selects any bounded area. Now we have Brush Tool. It makes a selection when you run a brush over the area you want to select. You can draw anything with the brush to make a selection. You can also change the type of brush to use. Lastly, we have Color Tool. It is used to select an area with a selected color. Let's move to the next part of our video. Functional Options For the selected area, make a selection to see the options. The options will be available in two places. First on the ribbon at the bottom. Second one at the upper left corner of the screen. Here you get two types of options. Mask and Content option. In Mask options, you can select the whole visible area. Invert Selection, Clear Selection. Transform the area of selection. Make it bigger or smaller. Move it around. Rotate Selection. Expand or contract the area of selection. Feather the edges or select color. In Content options, you can transform the selected object. Duplicate it, isolate it, delete it, copy it, brush it in or copy merge it into the active layer. You can also change the appearance of the unselected area so it's easy to distinguish. You change style, color, and opacity of the unselected area. That's it for this video. See you next time.